Today is December 21st, and this and this update is going to be about Tesla. Now, Tesla's been interesting, obviously, because after the call gamma squeeze, which we covered in great detail, there's been this big fade in the unwind of all that call gamma. And part of that is also has to do with the fact, obviously, that Elon Musk has been selling. But what's interesting about Tesla here is if we draw this very sloppy trend line, you can see that we bounced off of this 900 level, which coincides with a lot of just general market weakness over these last several days. And there's a pretty strong bounce, not just in Tesla, but also in the general market. And Tesla actually seems to be maybe lagging, you could argue, a little bit on its bounce. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can see that yesterday, which is the day after a very big options expiration on Friday, Tesla tested under 900 and then quickly bounced back up. And we want to show why that is important. So if we go over to our equity hub, this is a tool that allows you to look at the options position in over 3,000 different stocks. And you can get a free five-day trial of this if you head over to spotgamma.com. But all you need to do is type Tesla into the box here, and you can see exactly what the options position is. And we measure the options position typically in terms of gamma because gamma gives us the best idea of where hedging flows are in a stock. So what you see here, there are two lines. There's a blue line, which is the call gamma, and there's an orange line, which is the put gamma. So with Tesla around 900, you can see that the orange line is below that of the blue line. So what this tells us is that there's mostly put gamma or put gamma is has a higher weighting than call gamma. And so the hedging flows in Tesla are suppressive. When you have these puts on and the market starts to go down, we think dealers can sell shares that helps to push the market down. And then as the market comes up, they'll buy some of those shares back, but it's not something that's gonna create an extended rally. Now, if you think about it, when Tesla was skyrocketing, these were mostly call positions, right? And so as the stock goes higher, dealers need to buy more and more and more shares to hedge their stock. But if you have mainly put positions, let's say struck at 1,000, well, if the stock's up around 1,100, those puts are rapidly losing value and dealers are buying less and less and less shares to cover their hedges. So you can get the idea of the dynamic here that you can get a short cover rally, but it doesn't have as much legs as a call gamma rally. And so we mentioned 900 a minute ago, and what you can see here is that the 900 levels where most of the gamma is now, in Tesla, and that's a major support level. And what's interesting about that, obviously, is that not only did the stock bounce at 900, but what we also note is that there remains a lot of call interest up at 1,000, as you can see here. There is not a lot of gamma in these close-dated expirations. In other words, the short-dated traders have not yet pushed their way into Tesla options. And so if you're in agreement with this idea of a Santa rally, Tesla would be a recipient, you would think, of a lot of that flow, and it hasn't quite caught on yet. So if you look at this five-day history, you can see that what typically happens with Tesla is we will get the most concentrated gamma in the shortest dated expiration, meaning most of the traders in Tesla will only look a few days out and they'll choose to trade or position themselves in the next available Friday expiration, but that is not currently happening. And so what we are expecting is that traders will come in and look to trade most likely the end of year option, which is the week after the Christmas holiday here in the U.S. And that activity, the ability of traders to sort of push into calls could spark a little bit of rally back up into this very key important level of 1000. And that would be driven by in the short term, essentially short covering from all of these puts, which would rapidly expire. So these puts expiring or decaying is something of a Vanna slash charm flow. Again, if you're hedging puts with short shares and those puts start to lose value, well, then you need to buy those shares back. And then if you can couple that with just a little kicker of call gamma, uh, which we see increase as we get into 1000, then what you could see is these lines over the next couple of days would start to shift uh, and the stock could rally back into the 1000 area. So that's it for now. We hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, please let us know. Put them in the comment section below or send us an email at info at spotgamma.com. Thanks.